in this house, because this is actually interesting. There's, there, there is a susceptibility to some activity in this house that I have to mention, but it's in the other room. <laughs> I know. I have to talk about it because I'm going more that way. I know. But yeah, it does come through and it's I'm something to be mentioned. Who is that? It's a person. Mm. And it's the same person, and they tried to come through to three separate people that have all been in this house. There's a reference to a renovation. Um, there's a reference to redoing, and I have to reference to up. Mm. A reference to up, and then I'm going also to that side yeah. of the house as well. That actually triggered <laughs> some stuff that's coming through because I'm getting a reference. I'm getting a symbol for a wall being torn down when I yeah. always do that. Yeah. Do you know if there's been any renovations? Yeah, I did a renovation. Did we do over the wall thing? Yeah. Okay. There was a staircase that went up the back staircase. Yeah. Okay. We took the staircase away. Okay. And the wall that was there divided the kitchen and the dining room. Right. That makes sense. Because I'm kind of that's more of closer to the area that I'm yeah. kind of drawn to where there might be activity for some Is it reason. Male or female? The way it comes across, I'm definitely getting more of a male impression. I've had to deal with this before. Yeah. And quite an unfriendly situation. Right. And um yeah, this one's not so. This yeah. one's just wants to hang out, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't view it as a negative thing at all. Yeah. No, but I can understand if people sometimes feel scared and. For sure. But I mean, yeah. don't they live everywhere? Exactly. Well, that's kind of the thing I always tell people. People are always afraid of, you know, people being in their house, people that they can't see. I always tell people, if you were to take a hundred strangers off the street and invite them into your house, most likely none of them would no. hurt you, none of them would most likely want to do you any pain, even out of a hundred. Have you ever walked into one where you're just like, it's, whoa? One time. And what do you do with them? You know, it's it's something to be navigated. It's actually intentionally why I avoid those types of things. I, I just don't like that negativity. And I think for me, a big goal in doing a reading is really to set the intention to connect only to information that's going to be able to help a client yeah, no. versus anything, you know, um, in oh, negative. Guys. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even interact with that kind of stuff just because for my sake, it's it's overwhelming. But to have, for the people that have to deal with it, it's, it's brutal and can be very difficult. But I'm very thankful. I mean, Positive, positive situations, positive yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ah, funny enough, kind of interesting. I, I have to reference your residence shift. I know that sounds probably like... <laughs> well, that's great. I have been juggling, where do I want to live? Sure. I see too many signs that I need to move. Sure. And I have a, a huge emotional attachment to this house. So that's why I'm like, should I be moving from here? Right. Because we've far outgrown this space. I mean, we've, we've outgrown it. <laughs> Here. Here. So there is going to be a need for another move, but it, it may not have to be a drastic one. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know where I need to be, but I know I can't go there yet. Right. I think as the timing's right, you'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Only on E. The phenomenon returns. You are going to deal with a back problem, you're going to deal with a knee problem, and you're going to deal with an ankle issue. I hate you. Seeing is believing. My brain is exploding. I don't know how I knew all that stuff. Hollywood Media. Only on E.